My name is Nancy Wong, and I am a Hong Kong IE member. When I was about seven or eight years old, I already had a strong curiosity to know how everything works. One time, I broke my mom's alarm clock, and immediately, I knew I would get into very deep trouble. Who's going to wake me up early in the morning to go to school? Little by little, I figured the optimal solution for the repair, and my problem was resolved. That was probably the start of showing great interest in engineering. That is design, construction, testing, and maintenance. I'm an engineer in the water loss management section of the water supplies department. One of my duties is to implement the water intelligent network, formulate and take forward appropriate action plans to reduce water loss in the water supply network. The WSD has set the target to reduce the leakage rate of government water mains from the current 15% to less than 10% by 2030. One of the strategies to help achieving this target is to establish the Water Intelligent Network progressively. We are dividing the fresh water distribution network over the territory into about 2,400 hydraulically discrete district metering areas for continuous monitoring. This allows us to prioritize and determine the most effective measures in tackling water loss, which includes active leakage detection and control, water pressure management, quality speedy repair of water mains bursts and leaks, and reprovisioning of water mains beyond economical repair. In times of change and innovation, the WSD is enhancing the effectiveness and efficiency of leak detection. Our new leak detection training ground, QLeak, was established in July 2021, where we installed monitoring sensing equipment and mimicked more than 80 leak points in the new training ground. Our staff and personnel in leak detection industry can receive more comprehensive training there to develop or further strengthen their skills in dealing with leakage problems. The new training ground also provides a platform for professionals and academic institutions to conduct research and development projects on innovative leak detection technology. As a whole, it will help improve the performance of leak detection. Being a civil engineer, I had a lot of opportunities to travel for work to places like the Greater Bay Area, the Great Northwest of China, near the Arctic Circle and to where no one has gone before. I saw endangered species roaming freely in the wilderness. I also met engineers of different countries through active participation of Hong Kong IE activities. My experience really broadens my horizon on how beautiful, yet how vulnerable the Earth can be. And therefore, every decision I make as a civil engineer must take account for the conservation of the environment while making the world a better place for the human race.